Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a skincare routine. However, I wish I could do it demo style where I do it at the sink for you guys, but unfortunately my bathroom's too small where I can't fit lighting and lighting in there is horrible, like beyond horrible. It's like really yellow, I was like, I was trying to make it possible so hard, but it's actually really not. So one day I'm sure I will get the chance to do that for you guys. But for today, I will have to just step by step, kind of detail wise, share with you guys what I use. So let's get started. Actually, before we officially get started, one, I do want to apologize if you guys hear any background noise. Second thing is for those of you who don't know, I started Curology about a month and a half ago. I think that's around the right time, I'd say. I started on March 31st. I started with a free trial. Um, one of the reasons I started it was because it was amazing for my cousin. She had like the most transformational skin like I've ever seen. And she like swears by Curology. And I had heard about it previously just by ads and some of you had mentioned it before so I decided why not try it I'm not being sponsored at all by Curology I am paying to do my own acne skin transformation um, and I just wanted to share it with you guys because then maybe some of you who are struggling with your skin can try it too I basically collected everything around my room that I use for skincare and I have it in this little tiny Amazon box. So I'm gonna go through it and share with you guys what I do for my morning routine and my nighttime routine, depending on whether I have makeup on or not. So before I get into the actual steps, I do kinda wanna give you a background on my skin. Growing up, I did not have acne during high school. I had like a pimple here and there. I actually broke out like only like right here, ever. Like that was the only places I had like a pimple or two, maybe maximum. Um, it wasn't until like the second year of college, that is like what, when I'm 19? Yeah, around like 19, 20 is when I officially started to break out really badly. So I was actually a late bloomer. Um, and at first it was kind of like tolerable. Like I was like, oh, this is normal. Like my friends had acne and I was like, oh, this is normal. This is just like, you know, like I'm just a late bloomer. And then progressively it started to get worse and then I ended up having really bad cystic acne. Um, it wasn't to the point where it's like I couldn't touch my face because it hurt, but it was pretty bad. So I did have cystic acne for maybe, I think it was like less than a year. And that's when my mom was like, okay, you know what? Like, I think we should go to the doctors. I had never been to the dermatologist at that point. So I was like, okay, you know what? Like, yeah, I'm ready. My primary physician at the time um, sent me to a dermatologist and the dermatologist mentioned that my skin was strictly hormonal um, He never talked about like my eating habits obviously skin has to do with eating habits But I don't think he specified because he was like that's common sense like the healthier you eat and the more water you drink your skin should be better so he did say my focus for my acne issues were hormonal so he prescribed me I don't even remember what it was but it was a giant pill and he said I had to take it I take half of one every day or something like that I wish I knew the details but it also doesn't really matter he gave me topical cream and a prescription pill and then he said go get um, a face wash and toner that has salicylic acid in it so I was doing that for like a week maybe and then I was over it and the reason for that is because it literally burned off my skin um, at one point I just started crying because it hurt so bad to wash my face with just water and putting on toner was literally like I imagined I was in hell like I was like if this is if if hell could be one thing it's putting toner on my skin because it hurts so bad at that point my skin was so inflamed and it was red and it looked burned um, and you weren't supposed to go in the sun because it was like it's it was just really bad and so I was like you know what I'm done like I can't do this I can't I can't put on moisturizer without feeling normal or washing my face or anything like that so I was like mom I can't do it so then I ended up quitting I will say it did help I feel like I feel like because I did that my skin kind of calmed down because this cystic acne was gone like all the scars and pimple here and there was still there but the cystic side of everything 
was gone. But I was like, uh-uh, like, I'm not doing this. Like, because I think he was like, we have to try it for like six months. And I was like, six freaking months? Burn off my skin for six months? No, like, I'm not. Whatever. So then I let that go, and I ended up quitting the pills and the topical cream. And I just started using salicylic acid face washes and toners, and that's all that I kind of did up until now, which is basically Curology. So now we are up to date, and right now I am using a few products here and there. I did completely change my skincare routine. I do not use... Actually, I use maybe like one or two things that are the same. Other than that, majority of my skincare, I changed out to fit into my Curology because I wanted to make sure that I was giving my skin the best stuff that it needs. And one of the reasons is because if you go on to Curology and you look at their information, they actually talk about how you shouldn't use salicylic acid or um, other things that help with your acne while you're using Curology because Curology itself is supposed to help you with that. So I changed everything out and now this is what I'm using. I'm gonna start from morning and end with night. So for my morning routine, I use this face wash. This was recommended by the Curology team. I went on, they sent me like an email and they were like, this is our, these are the few cleansers that might help. So I went on and I looked at this. I think one of them was like the CeraVe cleanser, I think. Um, this is the Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser. It's a forming for foaming formula. Um, it's really nice. I'm not a big fan of the smell. It like, I don't know if it like, I don't know. It, the smell really doesn't matter. It smells clean. I don't know. I have never been a huge fan of Neutrogena, but I also don't hate Neutrogena. It's just I don't use very much of their stuff. But I do like the cleanser, and I do think that um, it's one of my new favorite cleansers. And I think it's actually working really great for me. It does the job. It works great. It's also very affordable. Then after cleanser in the morning, I use the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing gel. They have a few different kinds of these um, moisturizers. Clinique has the dramatically different moisturizing lotion, and then I think they have the jelly one. The lotion is for people who have um, drier skin, and then the gel is for people who have oily skin, and the jelly is for people who have like extremely oily skin. So previous to using this moisturizer, I was using the Cetaphil um, cream, I believe. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It never broke me out. However, it is just not good for my skin. Now that I've changed my skincare routine, I noticed the difference in what the, um, Cetaphil was doing to my skin. It was clogging my pores. It was just not clean and it wasn't right for my skin. It's still an amazing moisturizer. I use it for body now. Um, I just can't use it for my face, but one of the reasons why I didn't choose jelly is because I'm not extremely oily and I don't like the feeling of having like stripped like like dry skin if you get what I mean. After that I do go in with SPF because you should always wear SPF and I'm a hypocrite for saying that because I didn't start wearing SPF until probably around like a year ago maybe <laughs> um like a year and a half ago um i'm terrible with it i hate the feeling of spf it's just it's not my favorite um i don't even like the smell of spf but i know you have to wear it so make sure you wear it i try my best <laughs> even if it's a little bit you know i just i try that's really all for my morning routine because my morning routine is very um quick to the point, I don't wear makeup, so I'm really like, put it all on and like, head out the door. I'm usually done with my skincare routine within like, five minutes. And then like, add two more minutes for like, brushing teeth and like, all that stuff. Now, moving on to the nighttime routine. It gets a little bit more fun, I guess, depending on whether I'm wearing makeup or not wearing makeup. So usually, I like to shower at night. Um, I do have one of these Neutrogena cleansers in my shower. So if I'm in the shower, I'm just going to use this cleanser. If I'm outside of the shower and I feel like I'm decently clean, I'll use this cleanser as well. Sometimes there's days where I just feel like I just worked really hard or like my face feels muggy or like, you know. That's when I like to go in with the 
Tatcha um, Rice Polish in Deep. This is the most interesting face wash ever. Like, ever, ever. I, I love it. However, I tried to use it every day for a week and I didn't really like what it was doing to my skin. I felt like it wasn't a product I like to use every single day. Um, but I do love it to really get deep in there into my pores and wash out my face. I do really love it. Um, it is very pricey, I will say. It's 60 bucks, I think. Somewhere around that range. Um, however, there's a lot. Like, I don't think I'll ever get through with this. Like, I really don't. This is also what I use when I remove my makeup. So in the case where I'm using makeup, I like to go in with a oil. I'm not a huge fan of adding oil to my face because I do have acne prone skin. But to get rid of makeup, I love using oils. I think they work the best. The one that I'm using at the moment is the 4th Ray Beauty BFD Cleansing Oil. I do also like the Kiehl's one. I used previous from this. And it has like jasmine or something in it. I love that one. Any oils to get rid of makeup, I love it because I feel like it really works the best for me. After that, what I like to do is I like to go in with the Tatcha, scrub my face, and then I also like to do another cleanse with my Neutrogena just to make sure everything's off. That's in the case that I'm wearing makeup. If I'm not wearing makeup, I'm usually just using this. Then after all of that, whether it was makeup or not, after my face is clean, I like to go in with the toner. Um, this is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7 It's their toner. I love it. It's so cute. I really like the color. It comes with the, I call it a sriracha bottle cap because it's literally a sriracha bottle cap. Um, they come with a normal cap and a sriracha bottle cap. I put this one on because I like to put it on a little cotton pad and wash away all the dirt in my face that my cleanser did not get. I love this. I also sometimes use this in the morning when I like, I'm literally, I need to be out the door in five minutes and I don't have time to wash my face. I'll just grab this and a cotton pad and just kind of wipe away all the little dirtiness that I created in my sleep. After toner, sometimes depending on my mood, how tired I am, how lazy I am, I like to go in with a micro blender. I think that's what they're called. Ooh, micro blading, micro blender, micro roller this thing um my cousin spoke so highly of this not this specific company but so highly of the micro rolling um and the reason for that is because i have a lot of acne scarring i did put on a really light layer of makeup because i didn't want to scare you with my acne um but i do have some texturizing like i have craters i look like a moon um, because of course you shouldn't pick at your face, but young Michelle picked at her face. So what this is supposed to do is if you don't know what this is, it's basically a roller. And if you look very closely, there's these tiny, tiny micro needles. And what you do is you roll it across your skin in the areas that you have texture or craters or, you know, all this stuff. And what the purpose of it is, is that it punctures the skin very so gently. And basically your cells start to start working because it's like, oh wait. Oh my god, something's happening to your skin. Like, what's going on? We need to recover what's going on. Because you know how when you, get a, when you get a cut, your skin mends itself because that's what it's made to do. So basically what this is supposed to do is puncture your skin so that your cells go, oh, we need to recover her skin so that it can get back to normal. So I've seen it, what it does on my cousin, and I think it's amazing. It doesn't hurt um, they're super tiny. It's just kind of prickly, but you kind of get to control how much you press on your skin. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm like pretending like I'm doing it right now. After every use, I do spray it with alcohol because... Ah! <laughs> I do spray it with alcohol because obviously you don't want all the gunk and bacteria to end up in there and stay in there because that's just bad for your skin. I got mine on Amazon, so I will link it down below if you guys are interested, if you guys want to give it a try. After derma blending, I will go in with Curology. So, this is the first bottle that I got when you do your first uh, free trial. This is the size that they give you. And I thought this was the original size, but then when I got my first month officially, um, it's actually bigger. I use about a pump and like and a half. Yeah, about a pump and a half exactly. I don't use a full two pumps. 
it is a little weird because this is kind of your moisturizer at the end I don't put on moisturizer at night anymore um, and because it's only such a little amount like my face is round and big like I have a lot of surface to cover in the back there's actually um, like ingredients of what's in there like mine has Clinda <laughs> Clinda mycin or I can't read these everybody has different ingredients in theirs because your face is completely different than mine you're oilier you're not oilier it really our skin is so different like no one will have the same one I'm sure some people do but you know what I mean and going into curology a little bit I'll show you guys when I first started here and then about a week ago from today here um, you can't see like that much of a difference. I can. So when I first started, um, I still had a bit of texture in my face and I was like, oh, like that's one of the reasons why I started Curology because I was like, oh, I feel like my skin's actually getting worse. I was starting to get concerned. But looking at now, my skin is actually quite smooth. A lot of my acne at the moment is actually a lot of just pigmentation and scarring. I only really break out into live uh, like acne when I'm around the time that I'm going to start my period. When you are taking your test on Curology and answering your questions, you do want to have all your information. Like you want to know what birth control you're on if you're taking birth control. If you've gone to the dermatologist before and you've had prescription, you should have all that information with you. You don't want to half-ass the test because you want to make sure that you have everything detailed and correct so that they're able to create um, so that they're able to create whatever formula is right for you. So I'm loving it so far. Obviously, it's only been like a month and a half, so very little has changed really. I see a difference in texture, but I don't see a difference in like discoloration yet. But I'm not too worried about it because when I was asking around, you don't really start seeing like the change until about like three to four months. And that's also what my cousin said. She said she didn't see like a difference until like the fourth month. So really I still have a long way to go. But I just wanted to show you guys like the difference. Like maybe month to month or you know just kind of like update you guys. Because I did let you know I was starting it. Um, I still have two more, pro two or three more products left. One thing is um, eye, eye cream. I, I was thinking about it and I was like, mm, I'm not getting any younger. I'm not old, but I'm not getting any younger. So I was like, I should just start using um, eye cream. I'm using the Fourth Ray Beauty Night Cream. I mean, eye cream. Um, I'm not too picky. I haven't found a perfect eye cream for me. I, I just had this one, so I was like, oh, I'll just use it. If you guys have any recommendations for eye cream, I'd love to know. Please let me know down below. If you guys know any really good eye creams, I'd love to know. Please link it down below. I'd love to look for one. This is just something I had laying around, so I'm willing to change. Second to last thing is this, which is the Kate Somerville Acne Treatment. It's the spot treatment. You guys have seen this. One of the really well-known ones is the Mario Badescu one. Um, I think, yeah, like that one. It's the same thing. Um, I like to use this when I'm breaking out a lot during my, I was about to say pregnancy, <laughs> um, period. Um, because I break out a lot and this really helps prevent it from getting um, just worse than it is. So I'll use this when I'm starting to break out. I'll use a Q-tip and just kinda dab it in the place and then I look like a pepperoni pizza. Last thing I like to use is lip balm. These two are my favorites at the moment. Um, my all-time favorite is obviously Carmex, like I can never let it go. There's one right by my bed, there's one at my vanity, there's one in my car, there's one in my purse, it's everywhere. However, I love these for nighttime, like I love it. It's not much of a daytime thing because it's so thick, but this Laneige one, you guys, oh, it is beautiful. It is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I want another one just because I'm like, <gasps> And it also smells really good. I think they have like two different um, sm scents too, I think. This one and then two more. I'm not sure. But it is my favorite. Also the Tatcha, what is that? The Kisu lip mask. This one's really pretty. Like sometimes I feel really bad using it, as you can see. I used it like once, I uh, know I used it twice. I still really love it, but it's really pretty. It's super jelly. It's super clear and pretty. It's just, 
you know what it's just pretty i really like it it really works i like to use lip balm every night because i like to wake up with soft lips it's like i don't like the feeling of having dry lips so that's just me i don't know I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was very condensed with a lot of talking. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know down below if you guys have any recommendations or if you tried Curology, how you liked it, how you didn't like it. I know some of you guys have actually told me why it didn't work for you. Um, and a lot of you also said why it did work for you. Um, but I'd still like to know and maybe what you use during Curology. Please don't forget to let me know what kind of eye cream everybody's using um, so I can really update that because I can't say I love it, but I can't say I hate it. It's just kind of what I'm using. Hopefully, I can get up a demo for you guys one day very soon. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Maybe a month and two weeks. Started Curology. I started Curology on March. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god! I think we're in the clear. Just kidding!